Mark, can I please just have a look? No, no, Graham, it's not safe. Please just stay away. No, not while you're hurt. Come on, please. Let me see it. Let me see it. You are so stubborn. Ooh, that looks really bad. It's my job to take care of you. <laughs> Here we go, give it to me. Look, we knew in this trial period there were gonna be hiccups, right? These are hiccups though, Graham. I mean, it's not working. What? Is this really any worse than being at the center, really? I know you're worried. You have a right to be worried. I, I worry too. I worry about you all the time. But you're gonna get through this. You're the strongest person I know. You must not know many people then. <laughs> hey, my mother raised four boys alone in Hell's Kitchen. So maybe you're a close second. Okay. okay? I'm all right, Dr. Kessler. My apologies. None are necessary. I understand it's very difficult talking about this. Yes, it's, I've been distracted. Um, my anxieties have been difficult to manage. On an ongoing basis? All week. I've become terrified to leave the apartment. All of a sudden. Graham is sweet, but I know he's frustrated. How are things between you two? Well, to be honest, I don't think he ever noticed my crush. Now that we're settled, he's more comfortable around me. He's more free to speak his mind. Is he treating you well? Oh, of course. I just mean he's treating me more like a person and less like a patient. It's just made my feelings for him more intense. He knows me and he still likes me. I don't know if I'll have another chance at that. Not tomorrow. You're young. You don't have to worry that you won't meet the perfect person for you one day. That's naive. Well, after everything I'm saying, do you really think I'm naive? <laughs> I guess not, but... Tomorrow we talked about this. You were a child. And you are frightened. Nobody blames you for what happened. It's not that simple, Dr. Kessler. I don't know if I'll ever be stable enough to live on my own. Did something else happen this week outside of the ongoing anxiety? Last night, I felt horrible. I was just staring at the ceiling thinking, I want to go home, I want to go home. Then I fell asleep and I had the classroom dream. And when I woke up, my lamp and my night table, they were gone. I'd vanished them in my sleep. Um, the classroom dream. Yes, it's from before the center. I'm pulled up to the front of the class. I'm just little, obviously. And I don't understand anything anyone is saying. It's like they're all aliens. And then I try to explain, but the teacher gets angry. And she screams like a dinosaur. And then it's all a blur. Tomorrow, you can't keep blaming yourself about... Hey, are you all right? She leaned in and she grabbed me by the shirt and she yelled right in my face. And nobody would help me. I never told, I never told anyone at the center. I was afraid they'd be mad at me. And then I grew up and I forgot. And maybe I'm afraid. Because I wanted them to go away. I hate them, and I wanted them to go away and leave me alone.
It wasn't an accident, Dr. Kessler. And that's why I can't lose control of my emotions, not even for one second, because if it got bad enough, I could send everyone away. <laughs>